verse 17. And in the same passage that we read in Chronicles, that it says like this. And when the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, they went up in a full force to search for him. But David heard about it and went down to the strong and both. Now the Philistines heard that in Hebrew, David has now made an anointed king over all of Israel. And one of the things I want to say that whenever you get to that place that God promised you in the beginning, that's when you have to rely more on the Lord. Mm. David is now anointed king of Israel. Now the fulfillment, the very first anointing, David, you're going to be king of Israel. This is the moment where God is saying to David, I've made you, I've dealt with you, I've molded you, I've broken you, I've filled you, I've cleansed you, I've prepared you, I've made you go to learn experiences with people and the situations, circumstances. You've done well, you've waited on me. Here is the moment, now I'm anointing you to be king over Israel. The Philistines are, and when the Philistines have always been the enemy of Israel, they didn't, they didn't want to go down to congratulate David. They wanted to go attack him because whenever you get to that place, that's when Satan is going to rise up the most to try to knock you down even before you get going. He's never going to try to, you know, he's always going to try to be attacking us in our life. But he's always going to try to attack you the hardest in the very beginning of your Christian life. Because he's going to try to despair you. He's going to try to, 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 to just make you give up. And say, you know what, I don't need this. I'm not, let me go back to my old life. He's always going to try to attack the most at that moment when you're about to start. And David is now the king. Now is the whole fulfillment of what God promised to him through the prophet Samuel. And now what happens? The Philistines rise up to come against him. But notice something in David, and with this I want to end, I want us to really understand this. In that moment, David doesn't stand there saying, I've been prepared, I've gone through the training, I've graduated from God's boot camp, I'm a certifiable, lean, mean, you know, God machine. David did not say that. David could have easily done that. But David didn't rely now on his, his prowess. In his, I'm the king. It says that when David heard the Philistines were rising up to come after them, and Samuel says he went down to his struggle. Yes. Now, literally, David went to a fortified place. But I want to put it in a symbolic way. He went down to his stronghold. He knew that his stronghold is God. Hallelujah. Whenever you get to that place, never think that you're all that in a bag of chips. It right. works for God. And when other trials and tribulations come and difficulties come, don't think that you and you alone have the power to deal with it. Right. David, when he heard, I'm king, and the Philistines rise up, this is a big problem. He went to his stronghold. He went to the place that he knew he could find the presence and the power to lead him. It was God who called me. It's God who's going to need me. Amen. It's God who's going to fight for me. Whenever you get to that place, you have to go to your stronghold. Don't ever think. I've been telling Tim, and Tim has seen it, and, and I continue to tell him. I said, Tim, no matter what, you went to Harvard. Praise God, thank God, you're brilliant, you're smart. But don't ever think that you're smart just on your own smartness. Like the word of God, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and never lean on your own understanding. Because the day you think you're all that, get ready, you're going to fall. I'll be there to pick you up. But don't ever think. With all your theology. I, I'm even afraid to talk theology with Tim at times. He's too smart. But I still tell him, always rely on the Lord. See, David went to his stronghold. Because when you go to your stronghold, that's when you have your encounter with God. I continue to go to my stronghold today. There are things I, Lord, I don't know how to deal with this. There are times I, I deal with things, in, in, problems in church, and, and I actually go to my stronghold and say, Lord, I am afraid. I'm afraid. I, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. I have no idea how to deal with this. I have to go to my strong. And that's why I encounter God again. Lord, you anointed me. But right now, all this anointing, I've got to get back to you. Please take me. Because I don't know how to do it. In that stronghold, you find strength. You find God is there. In that stronghold, you find guidance. In that stronghold, you, found, you find counsel. Yes. It says that David went to his stronghold. And then, now the Philistines had come and spread out in the valley of Rephaim. So David inquired of the Lord. You see, that's what David did. In his stronghold, David inquired of the Lord. David was a king of all of Israel now. David was a military strategist. 
You don't see David, okay, let me call all my generals, this is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to deal with it. No, the scripture said that David inquired first and foremost of the Lord. It is strong, but that's what we need to do. We need to inquire of the Lord. And, and, and then he asked, shall I go and attack the Philistines? Will your hand, will you hand them over to me? And the Lord answered him, go, for I will surely hand the Philistines over to you. So David went to Baal Perazim, and there he defeated them. And he said, as waters break out, the Lord has broken out against my enemies before me. So that place was called Baal Perazim, which means the God who breaks out. Wow. David knew how to wait on the appointing of God. He was anointed three times. You're going to be king of Israel. Okay. He waited on the Lord. David, we want anointed to be king of Judah. You didn't see David have a hissy fit. <laughs> I want to be king of Israel. I want to. I want to. He waited on the Lord. He said, oh, wait, God has a purpose. And that was probably one of the best training period times David had in his life, being king of Judah. And now, David, the time has come to be fulfilled. You are king of Judah. I mean of Israel. As Samuel said. And the enemy stands up. We're waiting for you. And when the enemy stood up, David didn't stand up against them. He went to the stronghold. And he asked God, stand up against them. And God says, go. I'm giving you the victory. Because David knew that with every anointing, there's an anointing. God is speaking to each and every one of our lives. God has an anointing on each and every one of our lives. God is using you right now, though you may not know. God has a purpose in each and every one of your lives. And it doesn't mean that you have to be a pastor or you have to be a title in the church. I was saying it this morning in the Sunday school. Sometimes God is using you just where you are. Mm. And that's where God has you. Mm. And that's an anointing itself. Mm. You know, we think that, oh, anointing means I have to... No. Just be faithful to the Lord. Love the Lord with all your heart. Seek Him want to do His will. And when you desire to do His will, that's when an anointing will come. But understand that every anointing will have an appointment. He has to sometimes prepare you. I don't come every Sunday to this church. I don't come every Wednesday to this church. But, you know, from when Tim, has the Tim started in this church, it was about already almost four years ago. I remember when I would first come, I, I would hear the fellowship, how you guys would, would play the music, and I would hear the choir. I can tell you in four years' time, wow, you guys sound so much better now. <laughs> the choir sounds like, wow, there's, there's a change. I hear the change. As musicians, I, I hear the, the growth, the maturity. When it was simple, bing, 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 now nah, it's like, Wow, you know, now I hear the bass line is still boom, 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 boom. There's a growth. That's right. Every anointing has an anointing. Wait for the Lord and trust the Lord. Amen? Amen. I'm going to do something real quick. Very, very quick. Ten seconds. Anyone besides Lord, I'm like that. I'm like that. No details, no details. Just Lord, I present myself, anoint my life in your time. And